What's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Descarender, and well, I know I said my last upload was my last upload from X and Y, but I just had such a good game against a Twitter follower named Nash, I'm gonna link him down below because he was definitely, definitely a good battler, and I'm glad to have followers like that because that means that my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire battles are going to be that much more exciting because I have players like that around. That is just awesome. And uh, with that in mind, I we decided to have an Ori game because he was not too accustomed to NU and that is actually kind of fine. I decided to bring in some NU of my own, but I really want to try to uh, have at least some good bulk in my... Um, in my guard at least because I need some decent bulk to be able to use these NU pokes properly. So, let's go through my opponent's Pokemons. He is using a Golbat, Exploud, Gastrodon, Mega Banet, Regiseal, and uh, that pesky Rotomore. I do remember the Registeel might be in UU, but I might be overthinking it. But really, Registeel is the biggest threat from that team, because it's so bulky, and you can't really find out how bulky, because... It already got 100 base in both defense and special defense, so the re the way you go with it, it's uh, usually you find out through damage, but all when you start doing that is very practically too late. And I myself use my physical DNA, my special Murkrow, my Assault Vested Malamar, which is going to be awesome in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, a Bronze Song, which is with um, Heat Proof instead of Levitate, uh, my Reperio, which is Choice Bandit, and Assault Vested Meloetta. And I'm gonna start off with DNA, just going for a U-turn, because I'm gonna have it rough with my Rapperior against this guy, because he had got so many resistances to um, ground type of course. So anyway, let's actually get to it. So at the get-go, here's gonna start off with Rotom, which means that that is just great for me, because I can go for a U-turn and do some super effective damage, of course. But he will go for a Volt Switch here, showing me that he's definitely Scarfed, and I need to find a way to deal with that, because that means that my... He is definitely the fastest poke on the field, and uh, other than that, it also means that my Rapierio can't come in against it, even though it is Scarfed, for one reason and one huge reason only, and that is going to be that it has actually to leave Storm after all, and I can't cope with that in the long run. So anyway, I'll go into my Bronze Song here, because that was my safest play, and uh, I really just want to fake my Levitate against this Registeel. I know Registeel packs Earthquake in worst case scenarios, I really do that. So. Nevertheless, we both set up our rocks, and I'm actually going to overpredict a bit here. He's gonna go for a T wave, and you know, that is just awesome. But I'll actually go for Toxic, hopefully, to switch out, of course. He's definitely staying in. But I was thinking here that, alright, he is not gonna stay in for another turn. Why would he? He can't really attack me, and I really can't attack him, to be honest. But he'll go for an Iron Head anyway. And uh, I was thinking here that I might as well go for Rock Blast to do some decent damage. Totally neglecting the whole thought of Gastrodon still being here, and uh, I do miss the Rock Blast. Like, those 90% means nothing at a turn like this. And of course, I do expect him to go for a Skull, so I'm basically gonna bring in Bronze Song yet again. It is my safest bet, and it also is my worst type of play, because that shows me how vulnerable I am against a Pokemon ga like Gastrodon, which is super bulky. And I'm going to play very predictable here and go for a Toxic because I I can't do anything else. I need to force this thing out. So this Registeel is going to be, you know, the worst of folks really because I can't really do anything here. And he's going to go for a Teak Wave expecting me to uh, switch out. But really, I just wanted to get some damage off. And uh, yeah, this is where it hits me that that is just terrible. Uh, I can't cope with that, and I am forced to switch out yet again to um, my or going to switch out to my Meloetta, hoping for him to uh, not keep going for Iron Heads. But yeah, he, he definitely does that. I was definitely thinking he's gonna switch out because we didn't do enough damage on each other. So Iron Head did way more than I was, going, <laughs> was hoping for. And I'm gonna expect to go for a T-Way this time to uh, shut down my Meloetta. Which bring my Rhyperior yet again here, somewhat to save switching. And I really, to be honest there, you no, know, he has four pokes, or three pokes that's resisted to uh, Earthquake. So it is beyond me why I went for the Earthquake. And really thinking about it, that was just an awful, awful, awful play. 
and I'm gonna be so stressed out now because I know that Leaf Storm is coming, but he goes for the trick! And I was like, damn! No! Not the Bronze Song! Not like it can do anything by all means, really, but still, that is just awful. And he's gonna go for a Volt Switch here, which is really, really nice, and uh, you know, being that he went for a trick means that he can freely now go for a Leaf Storm, so I definitely, definitely can't bring in my poor Rhyperior, it's just, it won't do. And I need Rhyperior for Registeel, because that is the only, like, real Pokemon I can take it on. And Golbat is walling me very, very fine here, and he went for Toxic, which was really, really strange. But he decides to go for a Toxic yet again, and I was like, dude, really? He's playing so much like me, you know, overrecting me, and this was basically where it hit me that, alright, I kind of see what you're up to, so I need to play very, very unpredictable and do some, actually some weird switches to actually get some momentum. So I had that in mind, uh, so I went for an Ice Punch here, I did some fair damage because of that Choice Band and all, but here is where I do an awful play, and this is like the after this, I really, really, you know, I get around to it. But this is definitely a situation that I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. A Gastrodon is frozen. It's going to fall out through Scald. I know, I know this. Still, I hit that switch button. And I really, it, it went through my mind that, oh my god, I'm an idiot. So, the free sacks, of course, means nothing. But this Scald, it will do. And the reason we'll do that is for the obvious reason of not only does it do half my damage, it gets the burn. And burn, oh burn, oh how I'm longing for you. That is just so unfortunate, but I do get some momentum here and uh, I at least get some hacks back with a crit here of course. But my Murkrow is out of the way and Murkrow might have been my best bet against my, or against his... Um, um, Registeel because it has access to Heatwave, but I'll never find out. So anyway, Meloet is coming in, and I'm just going over Hyper Voice, destroying whatever it is here. I know he has Banet, I am fully aware of that, but at the same time, fuck it. <laughs> I need to kill it. So anyway, Rotom is coming in, and I know I can take whatever comes my way because of the Assault Vest, and you know, heavily, heavily invested. Uh, but it still does some fair damage, I'll say. And I go for an Hyper Voice here, because I know it's my best bet and does not fair damage. And I know, or I was predicting him to go for another Leaf Storm. So I'm gonna bring in my Malamar, trying to set up. And... I should have stayed in, because a Volt Switch will not take me out. But he definitely goes for the Volt Switch, which is just awful. Awful, awful, awful. So, anyway, I am in a somewhat of a pickle here, because now I'm facing an Exploud. And I am actually... Actually, surprisingly able to outspeed, but he's a spec explode with Boom Burst. And, um, yeah. Guys, I have a secret to tell you. My Malamar is awesome! You see that? That is specs bullshit! I can deal with that. Seratul is my man! My man! Damn! But he does an excellent play here and in going to Bennett, finally, I guess I should say. And I'm going to go for a Night Slash, because I can take it out no matter what, because of my attack boost. But he's going to go for a Shadow Sneak, and it almost, almost takes me out. And the Night Slash, of course, will finish it off. I do score a crit here, but as long as that is not invested, then that won't really matter. Because Satatool is just that good. So, with that in mind, I sadly had to sack off my Malamore. So it took down two, or actually took one, he took on one. And the dented explode very, very badly. And I am able to outspeed that, and that is going to be really, really nice. So at this point, I was just, you know, Actros can't take it out, but he still got Registeel. And I am not prepared to go for a wild charge and hope him for some nifty damage. No, I, w I want the real thing. I want to do the real damage. And I know the only one that can do it on my team is my beautiful. And just find an awesome Desotroya! And I decided to go for a superpower here because Earthquake would have been too risky because of Levitate, Rotom, and Golbat. And the superpower should do unfair damage against Exploud. And I can just come in yet again against Registeel. So he actually decides to stay in here. So I was just thinking, oh my god, don't flinch. 
Like, really? Don't do it. I love you. I do. Damn it. Rhyperior, my hero. Choice banded superpower, go. And boom. Body bag. Now, really, that was a crucial play for the both of us because we were definitely both ballsy here and I felt that that was going to be decisive because Toxic will take me out after this turn and that was just wow so 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 lucky and now I knew at least that I can bring in Akros lock myself into a wild charge and it should be nothing nothing stopping me so he will switch out thinking that I might go for a U-turn you know trying to roll that out and I, I say that that's a pretty darn good play and it could have worked but I really had no reason not to finish this game off with a wild charge because I will definitely take it out the road no matter what because this DNA Actros demons of demons can deal with anything and uh, to be honest here I did not expect myself to win this battle because my opponent Nash was walling me excellently and he was predicting me excellently I couldn't really get around him it wasn't until my original two sets both my Meloetta and Malamar actually come in and did what they were made to do, which was wall out and retaliate. But I have a big, big issue trying to even get around to do just that. And with that in mind, you know, my opponent has to give or gets all the credit really because he was definitely one of the toughest battlers I've gone against. Consider, you know, the team I had, I definitely thought I would have a much easier time and he just, he could deal with me rather easy now, didn't he? So, yeah. I really hope you guys liked that battle because I really did. I really thought this was something special, and uh, you know, I am really glad that I get the chance to have battles like this. Consider tomorrow is a big day, the day we all in Europe have been waiting for. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and that is just that's just so cool. It, it really is. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Oh, I've been longing for this for so long. Um, so yeah, I'm hoped to have a team ready, you know, as soon as possible, but you know, I'm gonna take my time with this game, I really, I really am, but I'm so glad that I have already teams that are working, I'm just gonna need battle points to get, you know, the TMs or the um, exclusive moves, I think that's my only issue, and other than that, I will be just fine. So, you know, guys, thank you, of course, as always, for watching, uh, I wanna thank you, you know, through, through this X and Y journey that we had. I hope our Aura's journey will be just as grand, if not even grander. And uh, yeah, besides that, yeah, I have nothing more to say. I, I really don't. <laughs> it was an awesome game, this um, Nash, you know, really all the credit you can have here. And um, with that in mind, guys, you know, thank you for always watching. And don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.